Hi, I'm Jim Wright, and I'm going to do a walkthrough of the Temple Israel website. First, let's look at the top right side of the page. We see a menu there, which has three items. There's a login button, and that's for Temple authors to log in to either add material or to edit material that's on the site. The second area is directions, and that's for Temple visitors to find out how to get to the site. The third area is a donate button, and that's for Temple members to make donations online to the site in a convenient way. Below that, there are two badges, a Twitter badge and a Facebook badge, and those are for going to the Temple's pages on those sites. The main menu on the front page is where you access most information. Below that, there is a slideshow, which is of people and events at the Temple. Now we've reached the main area of the front page, which is the announcements area. And here you can see an announcement for a temple activity that's upcoming in March. On the left hand side, we have entries from the temple calendar for upcoming events. Uh, and you can see a list of those. At the bottom, you notice that there's an area for Welcome to our synagogue. It has videos of temple activities. And on the right hand side, there's another list of items from the temple calendar for upcoming holidays. On the footer, there's contact information so that people can get a hold of the temple. And on the other side, there's a search box which allows you to search for information. Now let's look at some of the menu items accessible from the front page. First and foremost is a TI Times, which brings information about upcoming events. At the bottom of the TI Times page, you'll see that there's a more articles area, and it has links to older editions of the TI Times. So those are available for reference. In a similar way, if you go to the TI Bulletin page, the current TI Bulletin is featured at the top of the page. You can scroll through the Temple Israel Bulletin by either using the slider at the right, you can use your arrow keys up and down, or you can use the wheel on the mouse as a, if you have one. Again, at the bottom of the page, you notice there are links to earlier editions of the TI Bulletin. Also accessible from the front page menu list, there's the Send TI Bulletin page. And this is a form where you can request that future TI Bulletins be sent to you via email if you're not already getting that. Another area on the front page is a site map. That's a good way to get a top level view of the site and to find areas that may have information you're interested in. And last but not least, there's an author's gateway and these are the tools needed by authors to log in uh, and to access the parts of the site that they're responsible for. Now, content on the site. Let's look at the About Us area. The About Us is about the temple. A typical page is our rabbi page, and that has Rabbi Brickner's curriculum vitae. Another useful page is Rabbi's blog, and that actually has his blog, which is hosted on another website. To navigate that, again, Use the up and down arrow keys on your computer keyboard or a wheel mouse, a mouse wheel, if you've got one of those. A third area I'd like to show in that section is membership. 
There's an article on Join Our Family, which talks about what's needed to join the temple. There's also an online application, which is a convenience for people who are joining. It asks for the same information that the paper, the paper forms do, uh, but it allows you to do this online. There are buttons at the bottom to allow you to navigate through both the next page, back to the previous. When you filled in all the pages, you arrive at the end. The next content area is worship. This has pages on events and holidays that happen throughout the year. Let's look at just one or two pages. The High Holy Days page is a collection of articles about the High Holy Days. Here's the article for 5773. But if you go to the bottom of the page, it's like the TI Bulletin. There's a more articles area and a link to previous articles. So those are also available. We notice that not all articles have the more articles areas. Some areas are more are uh, more just simply descriptive, and those will just be the article that you see. The community area, we see there's an area for men's club. We see that there's an area for outside our temple, which has links to various uh, online resources of interest. One area that's kind of interesting is the cookbook. Let's take a look at that. The cookbook is a collection of Jewish recipes it's pretty straightforward. It's not hard to do. There's also uh, a learning area, which has uh, pages for the religious school, for adult education, for early childhood. There's a media area. This is another area which you can contribute materials to. Let's take a look first at the photo galleries. Typically, people will send a couple of photographs and they'll be organized into a gallery. The top, Shabbat's an example of a gallery. Let's look at it. And the photographs then are collected together into a slideshow. It's a nice way to share photos of things that you've done together. Other media areas also are available for contributions. There's the video archive area. Video archive has materials from uh, URJ, which are of interest to the community. It also has contributions of videos from temple members. The best way to submit materials here is to actually go and put your videos up on YouTube in your YouTube account and then send the links to the video editor who will put those in uh, so that people can share them and look at them. Two other areas are worth looking at in the media. One is audio collections. Audio collections have been specialized to provide an area where you can have recordings of things like the Torah, and those can be associated with the text so that you can see the text while you're hearing the reading. The last media area are podcasts. There's a very nice podcast facility here. You can see that when you go into the podcast area, there is a featured podcast. What's interesting is there's information that helps you to check out the podcast and see if you're interested in listening to it. So, for example, there's information on the author. And there's also a page which has a download link, so you can download it. But also uh, has a description of the podcast. So, again, you have a chance to look at it and see if it's something that you're interested in. Final areas in the main menu are the calendar. 
This has uh, a collect the collection of all of the events uh, for the temple. There's also a contact us area. And this provides a form for contacting the temple to ask questions. Now, there were two items that we skipped over in the beginning as we looked through the various areas on the front page. One is directions. Let's take a look at that area now. Again, they're written directions to get to the Temple Israel. And there's also uh, Google Maps so that you can enter your starting address and you can get turn-by-turn -turn directions to the Temple Israel site. The second area is the donate form. Again, this is offered as a convenience. Online, you can provide the donation information from the donor names, what you're going to benefit. It's the three-page form. You navigate around with the next and previous buttons in honor of a birth or a baby naming. You may want to send an acknowledgement card. This, again, is identical to the paper forms that the temple already uses. Do note that you can specify your preferences on the form. You can ask any additional questions you need. And you can also suggest a time for the temple to contact you, either to do the payment or for additional information you may want to have about the process. So that's our wrap up. Uh, the site is here. Please come and use it. And as time goes on, I'm sure that there'll be more and more information added to the site and it will become a richer tool for the Temple Israel community.